a highly agile mid-engine concept with a four liter naturally aspirated six cylinder with an output of 493 horsepower, the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. However, we're not here to talk about the specs and the performance of this vehicle. We're here to answer the question, are Porsches really as perfect as people think? As a detail shop, we have a certain eye. We're gonna take a look at any imperfections we can find. We just got this last night. Taking a look at the front end, I'm gonna start with a little issue right here. Just gonna put a piece of tape by it. It looks like some plastic left over from when they did the PDI and they ripped it off. So that's something we're gonna have to take care of right there. Moving on, I noticed these two little, the beginnings of where you put a screw for a front plate. And what's strange is, is at the dealership, they had a few more 4RSs there. All of them had these little indentations. Strange, because they had a Cayman S, a normal one in the lobby, didn't have them. Moving on, we have a little bit of chemical behind this air vent fencing right up front. I don't know if that was happened during the prep wash that they did after the PDI Porsche or whatnot, but I want to at least put a tape near both so that the detail guys kind of pay attention to those areas. Next, I mean, the entire front bumper, hood, fenders, actually most of the entire car has a decent amount of scratching to it. I don't know if that happened during when the plastics were taken off the car or if it was improper washed at the dealership. Whatever the case, I'm not going to tape the whole car, but the whole car needs a one-step polish before the film even goes on it. Moving on to the fenders, we noticed that there is actually some factory PPF right behind the front wheels. Now, normally that's a good thing because you want to protect that area, but since we're doing full car PPF, we're going to remove this and do it our own way. That way there's no line here. So I'm going to put a piece of tape here so that the PPF guys know that they're going to be removing that and replacing that. And we just noticed that there's more factory PPF. Right here, you could feel a line. It's meant to protect the inside of this carbon fiber side intake, but the proper way is to remove this film cover the whole thing. That's the kind of protection we're going for. So I'm gonna leave a piece of tape right here to remind the guys to remove that part off. Now onto the rear of the vehicle, I did notice that right here on top of the spoiler, there's some pretty decent deep scratches. They're both through the Irish green into the carbon fiber. So a little concerning, should come off during the one step polish, but again, that's something that we wanna at least note. Overall, the car is in pretty great shape, which it should be. Uh, I had a feeling we were going to find more. If you look above the door handle, there's a pretty good amount of scratches. I don't know what they're due from. We definitely want to spend more time polishing above the handles. So I'm going to put a little piece there, make sure we pay attention. Okay, we walked around and pointed out some of the imperfections we have on the car. We don't need this anymore. So now let's talk about the fitment. Let's take a look at some of how the fenders fit, how the front bumper looks, how it leads up to the fenders. And I'm looking at the hood, left and right side, and where it connects. And Everything sizes up perfectly. If you take a look at where the bumper hits the front fender, no gap on either side. It looks pretty damn good. Walking along the side of the car, fitment looks good on both sides. The doors line up nice to the fenders. Door looks like it closes nice to the rear quarters. Both sides look real nice. Another common area where you're gonna see some strange fitment, especially Tesla Model S, is where the hatch closes. Both right and left side here looks even. No problem. Moving on to the interior of the GT4 RS, probably one of the best parts. You could tell the quality, you could feel the quality, everything you touch just seems quality. All the buttons work nice. The shifters, the paddles, the vents, no matter what you touch, no matter where you go, you feel the quality. Even look at the cup holder. Press this little guy open, press him. Everything is just made really nice. Love it. So after doing this initial inspection on this, the question remains, is Porsche really as perfect as people think? Well, almost. And that's why we brought it to Chicago Auto Pros. We're going to be doing a one-step polish to get some of the scratches out. We're going to be wrapping the entire thing in clear PPF and doing a ceramic coating over all of it. Stay tuned on our social medias for any updates. And always, like and subscribe.